Hey everybody, welcome to the uh, first part of the Komodo Complete Review. And uh, this is my actual uh, screen right now. I guess uh, I had the computer changed colors. Uh, arrow I don't think works too well while recording. But anyway, so I want to show you how you install um, Komodo. So what you do is uh, you double click the CD or if you have auto run enabled then uh, you let it open up double click uh, the install or you just let it run then you click OK and then you're going to be greeted by an interface first thing you're going to want to do is hit install the security suite. You're going to get a pop-up. It's going to ask you for your ID key. You enter your ID key, you go through the install. Once it's installed, it's going to ask you to restart. You restart, and before you do anything, you open up the uh, user interface here. You click on more, and then you click on check for updates. It's going to check for updates and it's gonna find some because this is version 4.0 on the CD uh, unless you get the new CDs which I expect they'll have some time and uh, you install version 4.1 and then you're gonna restart again and then you're gonna be able to do your virus definition updates once you get all those done you can activate your uh, guarantee status if you want or you can wait and you go back to the CD and you click activate online backup and trust connect that's gonna open up to a new web page and you're gonna enter your name your address um, your uh, your key all that fun stuff and it's gonna let you register with the website that's gonna give you access to the online backup and trust connect service then after you do that you come back to the install interface and you install online backup that installs Komodo backup right here and that's going to ask you to restart after it installs uh, what they did is they took Komodo backup and they integrated the online backup so let's say I want to back up um, some files I pick some files whatever they may be I just picked the whole C drive and then you just hit next and um, for the online backup I think CBU file doesn't work because it doesn't work with compressions but if you do a simple copy and no compression level you can hit you see online storage comes up you can do my computer network FTP or online backup and then you enter your username and password the same one that you set up when you activate uh, online backup and trust connect and uh, that's where you can back up your most important files you get two gigs included in the package as of right now uh, but you can buy more space if you need it and then um, from there you can just continue on uh, there's a big help file if you need to read on how to use Komodo backup because it's a very powerful suite uh, if you go and hit help you'll see the PDF and you can download the user manual okay so after Komodo backup is installed you can then go and install Trust Connect. Uh, this is Trust Connect. Now I can't get this to work on my computer and I have a feeling that's because uh, it's um, the way I have my router and some of the virtual machine uh, um, th I have other networking things installed on the computer and it's I think it's screwing up with it. But what you do is when you activate your backup and trust connect you're going to get a your ID and a special password just for trust connect. And what trust connect does is let's say you have a laptop and you go to a coffee shop and you're not sure if the connection there is secure or whatnot. You enter this, you hit OK and it creates a virtual private network with the Komodo servers. Um, so the the connection the wireless connection whatever the coffee shop's got going you're completely secured from it from anything going on and you go straight to the Komodo servers and then from there you surf the net um, you get 10 gigabytes per month included in this plan um, for a year 
or if you want if you need more let's say you can buy into the higher end service and then you can get uh, I think 100 gigabytes a month um, and really that's all it is for the install it's not too bad of an install then you exit and uh, you restart and then you know you just set up however you want to set up your uh, your um, secure in your face here and if you ever need support all you do is you click the live support button and you can chat in a window with a support agent and uh, if let's say you're not, you kind of don't know what you're doing well they can help you um, it, they'll ask you if you want to do a remote connection and uh, they can hook up to your computer and they can do a remote connection and adjust your settings or whatnot f uh, directly from their end to help take care of whatever is going on and it's not just for setting up Komodo or removing viruses because they can do those but it's for any computer issue you might have so they can really give you uh, some help on setting up uh, anything you got going on with your computer if you want to set up a printer or you need some help setting up a network or whatnot they can help you do it so this is a this is a great feature this is really where a lot of the money that you're paying for the suite is going uh, including the uh, the online storage and of course the Trust Connect, but a lot of it is going to this 24/7 technical support. Uh, and then of course you can you get your guaranteed status, which you you activate your um, uh, your guarantee, your $500 guarantee for uh, uh, being virus free. And that's really all there is for the install. Uh, what I'm going to do is Oops. Uh, I'm going to go grab Komodo Internet Security Premium, which is the free version 4.1, because the security between the Inter Komodo Internet Security Complete and the Premium is exactly the same. They're both just as secure. Uh, the Complete version just adds more services to the package. And then I'm going to install that into my virtual machine and do a test on that so you guys can kind of see where we're at right now with security in the Komodo product. So that's it. I'm going to call this Komodo Internet Security Complete install video and then I'm going to do another video right after this uh, checking out the security aspect of it. So I will uh, be back in the next video and everybody take care. See you later.